are God's children. We are His people. We are His light in the world. We have been chosen. Welcome to the Joy of the Lord Show. This week's show is brought to you by the RIC Church, anonymous donors, and supporters and viewers like you. Our musical director is Christian Caulfield. And now, to introduce this week's special guest, it's your host, Father Richard Hill. Welcome. Welcome to the Joy of the Lord Show. Thank you for having us into your hearts and into your homes. Come with us on this 30-minute journey, exploring the joy of the Lord that He has given us here in this life that we live. Today, at the table, I have an old friend, I hope, Christian Caulfield, our music director, and I'm going to talk with him for a while. We have a special guest, a uh, musical guest today. I'll have him tell you a little bit about him, and then uh, we might ask him to come to the table after he sings. So stay tuned. We've got a really good show for you today. Of course, they're all good shows, if you ask me. But... <laughs> It wouldn't be a Joy of the Lord show if I didn't have Lammy Pie and give her her time. Believe me, the kids in the church would let me know. Lammy Pie today has a question. You, you can see she didn't have her sunglasses fixed when I sent her to the Hollywood vet. Um, instead, she optioned for the procedure of her eyelashes and permanent makeup, and I don't know what all. But anyway, Lammy Pie wants to know what, she has a friend named Della, and somehow she thinks that we all ought to know, what did Della wear? What did Della wear? And I would make you wait for the answer, but there's a clue that it's all written together, Delaware. But I'm not going to make you wait today. The suspense would just be, it wouldn't be nice of me to make you wait. So Delaware, what did Della wear? A New Jersey. Della, she wore a New Jersey. Hey, don't get mad at me. I don't write this stuff. I just do what I'm told. That's the joke from the kids. Well, actually, from Lammy Pie, according to the kids, today. What did her friend Della wear? She wore a New Jersey. Okay, Lammy Pie, that should take care of you for today, I hope. Well, Christian, welcome to the table again. How are you doing? Doing great today. How are you doing? Pretty good, pretty right. good. We'll act like we haven't been together almost all day working at the church and, right. and doing other things and eating lunch and all. So, and it uh, was a good lunch. <laughs> it was a good lunch. Well, that's true. You, you know, uh, our Baptist credentials, we, we call that fellowshipping. Uh, in the non-dom circles, it's just called pigging out. <laughs> <laughs> and that we did. And that we did. Yes, we did. So tell me, what, uh, what's been going on with you? Oh, just hanging out, taking care of business, having a good time, trying to stay warm here in Dallas. It's a little cold, so. Yeah, it's a little yeah. cold in most of the nation. We have one of those polar or whatever they call them, come do whatever they do. You bet. Now, what do you call it? Came and did whatever it does. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> okay, well, since I last talked to you here on the air last week, what has happened in your life that you can admit, you know, that it won't get you in any trouble to, to admit on the air? Oh, gotcha. Okay. Well, <clears throat> today we got to, to hang out with our musical guest and uh, have a good time, have lunch, and uh, I got to pick him up from the airport today and have good spiritual conversations with you and him and being part of that. So that's been a real blessing. I like to to uh, be around like-minded friends. So. Well, you say the airport like as if he he came from a little farther than, than uh, DeSoto or something. <laughs> you bet. Well, well where West, is he from? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. All right. Uh, they don't serve much fried okra up in Wisconsin, I understand. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> All right. So what <clears throat> would you like to talk about today that has to do with staying on the theme of encouraging mm -hmm. our viewers? Um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> you think about that for a second. Pride versus humility, and, and, and that encourages viewers from the perspective of the Lord is available to us, and he will avail himself to us if we ask him to, diligently seeking him, running towards him in humility. Um, he answers the sincere prayers of our hearts, and that's, I want to encourage everybody to know that the Lord does hear your prayers, and the more sincere they are, um, the more you're going to get a stronger answer is what I've experienced in my life. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> well, praise God. Why don't you explain how pride versus humility specifically can lead to joy. 
Okay. Um, basically, um, pride holds God out. Humility brings more the presence of the Lord. And uh, with that, <coughs> the joy of the Lord comes from, from being part of uh, the Lord's presence. Um, this, today's going to be a great show. We're really excited about that. Um, we hope that, <coughs> that you all enjoy it as much as we do. And uh, we'll keep on rolling here. Let me pull up a little scripture for you. Um, today, we've been looking at uh, chapter 11 in the book of Wisdom. I'm going to read a little bit of scripture for you. It says, She had made their affairs prosper through the holy prophet. They journeyed through the uninhabited desert, and in the solitudes they pitched their tents. They withstood, withstood enemies and took vengeance on their foes. Then they thirsted, and they called upon you, which would be the Lord. And the water was given from them, the sheer rock. For their thirst from the, from the hard stone. For by the things through which their foes were punished, they were in their need, were benefited. So to this scripture, um, what I see here is that basically the Lord answers prayers. The Lord answers sincerity um, in prayers. I want to encourage you to reach out to him, cry out to him um, with your problems. And it's really awesome today that um, we've got a special artist that has a special song written specifically for you, those who are hurting. I want to read a little bit more of scripture here. Instead of a spring when the perennial river was troubled with the impure blood as a rebuke to the decree for the slayings of infants, you gave them abundant water in, unhoped, in an un unhoped for way. And Jesus Christ is the, the bread of life. He's the water that flows through us and cleanses us in his presence. Now we'd like to go ahead and uh, introduce the, uh, the musical guest today. We've got Doug Shea with us here. He's from Wisconsin. He's got two songs. They're original songs. One is called, And Mighty Is Your Name. And the other song is called, Take It Away. He specifically wrote this for this show because the Lord placed it in his heart that there's someone out there that's hurting that needs to hear this song. You can also check him on the web on www.dougshea.com. Take it away, brother. It's amazing how you turn this life into love. Just a presence in my heart is enough. There's a comfort, a peace in my soul. Without you, it's one. Yeah. 
are hoping, looking up to the heavens for you. I'm crying out for your voice. Father, hear me. I am broken for your glory. So my hands are lifted high. Take it away in your name. Set me free to serve your ways. Yeah. 
Some great music by Doug Shea. Way to go, Doug. Really love that. Thank you for sharing um, the Lord with us. Why don't you come on over and have a seat? And <clears throat> hope everybody heard him loud and clear out there. So how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm so glad you're here. Thanks. I'm That's happy awesome. to be here. Awesome. Well, I've, I'd like to learn more about your testimony. <clears throat> and I think uh, sharing some of that with the audience, they'd really love that. Um, I understand that you were, you know, very successful in, in, in rock music in that whole secular scene for a time. I've, I see your, <clears throat> your worldly successes here from MTV, the best unsigned bands, touring in the United States, 150 dates a year, performing over 120 colleges, and the list goes on and on and on. Songs uh, for slated for Spider-Man movie theme song and um, recording in, you know, great studios that, that uh, these these uh, secular groups have performed in, but, but I understand that all, all that is nothing compared to the, the presence in the, of Christ in your life. Um, is that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, basically, um, I guess I'll, I hear all that stuff and I don't really even think very much of it, so yeah. it's not really that big of a thing to me. I, and um, it was just kind of a, it was a time where I consider myself more lost Wow. More of a time where I kind of created more of a destructive path into the world that I live. We talked about it a little bit today. You I've bet. Heard a lot of people in the process, and I'm kind of amazed that some of these people still, you know, know me and want to talk to me these days. Um, Praise God. But um, in a real way, at the tail end of when we called it quits, I felt... Um, God calling on my heart in such a way that just, uh, it changed my life, you know, and, um, and then I've been doing it ever since. I, I, I started working in a church and met some great people through there and some great spiritual leaders and then I, um, my wife got involved with, we, well, we got married. That's awesome. <laughs> and uh, and I'd, I'd like to ask you about that. You had mentioned to me that you really heard the voice of God telling you that you had a couple of pathways that you could go to. You could play in this, stay in this secular rock band, or you could have a wife and, and know the Lord closely. A, a, lot of my, my, a lot of my friends that are watching are going to think I'm nuts. I never really shared this with a lot of people, but yeah. here we go. Yeah. Um, I remember um, we were starting. We got off uh, a tour that we were doing, and, and um, I, just started, I just started to meet my wife, Monica, and... Uh, and uh, she was adamant, telling me, I don't know if I feel comfortable with being with a touring musician. Yeah. So I remember sitting in my bed and looking up at uh, this picture of Jesus that I've had ever since I was a kid, and I said, God, you know, I, I don't, I honestly don't know what to do here. You know, I, I, and then, you know, I didn't necessarily maybe realize it then, but I, I do now after um, more of a relationship with Jesus. Um, but he, he spoke to me, and it wasn't like this voice of God that came in my head, like Charlton Heston or something, and you know. I am but God. This exactly. Is here. It wasn't. It was nothing like that. It was. Um, it was a soft, subtle voice that sounded like myself, but I just knew it wasn't myself. Mm -hmm. And um, it came with like these pictures scrolling through my mind. Wow. And it was. It said, and the voice said, "The band or the girl." And I saw, while the band was being said vivid pictures of all the success that I was hoping for and wanting to and striving for for years and at the very tail end of it I felt this but you won't know me anymore and then wow. at the end and then for the girl it was like I'm gonna have hard times the band's gonna fall apart you're gonna have a rough struggle but you're gonna be happy and you're gonna know me deeper than you've ever known me before and this wow. inner inside I don't know if it's the core of my heart because I really, at that point, wasn't, you know, living Christ-like. I wasn't, 
I was striving, but I was nowhere near, you know, and, and just instantly I was like the girl. And then people started leaving the band and the band started falling apart and, um, you know, and I got married. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> So, so what, what you're telling our audience is to, to follow the voice of the Lord is what I think I, I'm hearing you say. Follow that voice. Um, it can be often struggle. There's going to be a struggle with it. But in the end, better things are, will happen for you if you're following the Lord. Are you, are you trying to communicate that? I believe that if you follow the Lord, he's, he created you and me. Yeah. And he knows He's like the one that created you and knows what that dream is that he designed you for. And when you follow what his dream is for your life, mm -hmm. whatever it leads, wherever you may not like it, you might, but once you follow it, you'll know that this was the right thing. And all along, how many times has everybody said in their lives, oh, I went through all this struggle, but I, I would never take it back, mm -hmm. you know? But it's kind of the same thing with God. It's kind of the same thing with my struggle. I went through all this struggle, yeah. I would never take it back because of who... It made me a better friend. It made me a brother, a better brother. It made me a brother's son. It made me a better worship leader. It made yeah. me a better husband. It made me better, just Christ-like follower. You bet. You bet. Writing music for God. You bet. In our conversations today, you you were talking about you know basically that um, that uh, the Lord has been working on you and He had the Spirit of God uh, rested upon you and ripped a bunch of things out of you that, that you didn't even know were there. Yeah. And, and you also spoke of joy uh, about that. Can you tell us a little bit about that experience? Well, I felt, I felt God really calling me. I didn't really pray to come on the show. And when he finally kind of said, I want you to be here, and then yeah. I felt, now I need you to write this song for someone out there that needs to hear it. Yeah. And I need you to write about this moment that you had in your life. And a couple years ago, I was driving and I was like screaming and yelling at the Lord to use me and tears are falling down my face and I'm like, you know, that's where the lyric in there is like I'm pounding and I'm shouting and I'm screaming through the silence. Use me, you know, I, I, I want to know you. And it was, and again, people are going to think I'm nuts, but it happened. This just love fell on top of me. I don't know how to, ex this, I don't God. know how to explain it. Praise God. And it like just surrounded me and changed my life from like one direction to completely the other direction. And I don't know how to describe it. And it ripped all this stuff out of me, all this pride and all this stuff that I still had that I was, yeah. that I didn't even think I had anymore. <laughs> like, you know, weed from wet grass. You bet. You bet. So, and it was one of the most wonderful things that happened. It was life changing. When I walked through the door, my wife was like, what happened? <laughs> and it's 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 been this. I, I don't know how how else to describe it other than this. The, I felt like there was this outpouring of love on me. Yeah, praise God. That's awesome. So you said that um, to me in our conversations today that the the real miracles happened. You know, after this uh, changing of you from the inside from the Lord coming to know you. And um, can you tell us more about that? Well, there is just. A lot of times where he'll, I'll be praying and he'll say, reach out to this person. And I'll text this person and then there'll be like this immediate text back or an immediate phone call that'll they'll say, I can't believe you just reached out to me right now. I needed this. I, you always seem to know on the right, and it's not me, it's the Holy Spirit who knows whoever's problems that is. And I'm just there to give comfort, encouragement, and pray for them. You bet. And then there's, there's, those are like more of a simpler ones, but then there's like really powerful ones where, like with, with like writing this song where he'll literally fight with me while I'm trying to write what I think is right, and he'll <laughs> like literally like pull me in a totally different direction. You bet. And, and challenge me and, there's just so many of them. I, I can't yeah. really even begin to, de to describe it. And I, I don't want to come across like I'm over the top, but yeah. there's a real presence of Jesus Christ that exists that's attainable if you just seek him. And that's really what it's about, seeking him out and, and, and knowing who he is and him knowing you, mm -hmm. you know, deeper and this intimate connection that the two. And then he'll speak with you and he'll 
pour this love into your life that it's undescribable. You bet. More than words, right? More than words can describe the presence of the Lord and how great the Lord is to us. Um, we're getting close to the end of the show. And is there anything that's on your heart that you want to share with these folks? Maybe the hurting, the, the downtrodden, the folks, please, please share. The one thing that I would encourage someone that's at their low point, because I've been there, I was wrestling with some real serious issues, some very, very serious things. He promises he promises you that if you seek him out, he'll be there. He promises this. And the cool thing about God is he doesn't lie and he doesn't break his word. So the more that you seek him out, and if you seek him like treasure, and like I said this morning, it's like the Indiana Jones movie. It's like, what did he have to do to get his treasure in the end? Mm -hmm. He had to go through like motorcycle chases and bandits and I mean, just to get to that, to that treasure. You bet. And that's all part of God wanting to know how much you love him. Are you willing to seek him out? Are you really willing to just surrender and come to a broken place of saying and letting go of all pride and saying, I can't do this without you. And you that's bet. what he came down to with me. I, I can't do it without him. You bet. Absolutely, brother. None of us can. We can't do it without him. Well, we've got uh, about 30 seconds left. I uh, wanted to thank you, Doug, for coming out today, flying out so far from Wisconsin and pleasure. sharing the Lord with us and your beautiful songs. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. We love you, and Jesus loves you, most importantly. And thank you for joining into the Joy of the Lord show. We will see you next week, next Saturday at 6 p.m. God bless, and see you soon. Thank you for watching the Joy of the Lord show. Tune in next Saturday at 6 to share the joy of the Lord with us again. We have been chosen.